goal of this video is to do a quick uh, configuration for our uh, PHP storm and to build our very first little project. So <clears throat> let's get started. We're gonna we're gonna start up PHP storm here. If you are only running a, a trial version of this again, use uh, you can log in as a student. Make sure to use your Georgian College email to set this up uh, as a uh, student, and then it'll give you a two-year license. Um, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new project here. And it's going to be an empty PHP project. Now, as I said uh, in class, um, <clears throat> we're going to uh, use XAMPP. Now, in order to use XAMPP as our web server, um, <clears throat> we need to store our files in a specific directory called htdocs. So if you go into your C drive, you'll see xamp, and then you can go to htdocs. And then all you have to do is give the name of the project. So in this case, let's call it lesson number two. Um, I'm going to avoid putting any spaces or anything in here. And say create. And that will open up a new project with lots of tips. And so far in our project, there isn't any files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, go down to new, and I'm going to say new. Actually, before we do that, let's set up our environment. So if I were to uh, create a new PHP file, let's just do uh, new PHP file. And I'm going to call this temp.php just to see what happens when we create a new file. So when we get a new file, by default, it, it gives us this little PHP tag and puts in um, you know the creation dates and things like that. But that actually doesn't help us a lot. There's not a lot of pre-built uh, templates in there. And really, uh, although we are uh, embedding PHP code, it's really we're embedding PHP code inside of HTML code. So sometimes it's a little easier to actually set up a default um, a, a default template. So I'm going to go into settings here and editor. And then under file and code templates, you see if I click on PHP file here, it shows um, just that little opening tag PHP. But really, uh, what would be great is if I had a bit more. So if we look at the default here for uh, an HTML file, it includes um, you know, the document type, language, the header information, and some body. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually copy this, go down to my PHP file, and uh, paste it in like that, and say apply. OK. And now, if we... Oops, I'm going to right click here and let's create a new PHP file and just call it default. So now when I create a PHP file, my, my default title is here. So this looks like what you would have learned in your HTML CSS class. Uh, so we can give a new title uh, to our, um, our, our document here. So let's call it Hello World. And <clears throat> In our body, let's put our first little bit of PHP. And one of the great things about working in this type of an environment, uh, such as um, PHP Storm, is it does have auto completion of things. So if I, you can see it, it's doing a lot of code hinting. So if I wanted to add in a class, you can see it actually, if I hit enter right now, It'll actually not only just put in the class, it'll put in uh, quotes and everything for me. So it's, it actually speeds up the development effort quite a bit. So it's a real nice way of working. Uh, so if I want to write hello world to the screen in PHP, um, I mean, we could we could just do, uh, you know, simple like hello world. Let's start with that. This is just basic HTML. Uh, and what I like to do is I do Control S, and that saves all of my files. Because as we start working through um, 
our, our, uh, our files here, you'll see we end up with several PHP files. So I usually like to just do control S with my keyboard. Now if I want to view these files, what I'm going to do is I'll bring up um, a browser here. So I'm going to go localhost and I called it lesson2 and default.php. So it's going to call that PHP file. Okay, and there's no PHP in it. It just says hello world and there's our title up there. It says hello world. Now we can go in and if we want to add to that, let's write some actual PHP. Although this is going to be very simple PHP. So in here, I'm going to use a command that's called echo. And echo just means to write to the screen. So echo And unlike um, regular uh, HTML pages where everything's enclosed in these uh, opening and closing tags, uh, inside of PHP, it is much more like a programming language where you have a command and you have to finish each line with a semicolon. So I'm going to hit my Control S to save that. And now when I go back in here, if I hit Refresh, um, you can see that that echo command has printed that to the screen. So there you have it. We've updated our template, our default template, and um, we have now um, built our first very simple uh, PHP program. And what we're going to do from here is we're going to start connecting to databases, we're going to create forms, send information to a database, uh, but this is just a start. Cheers.